Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review, Stock Option Review for March 26th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob. Our goal is to show you that pretty much every day there's an opportunity for you to make a good return on your money in the stock options. So, with that said, it's the 26th of March. Coach Rob, it looks like it was a little bit of a down day. Were we able to take advantage of it? Yes, we were, Scott. It, was, it wasn't the best day for volume. If you look down here at the histograms, what we're looking for is that nice purple volume that's exceptional and it makes these trends roll. So you get some skinny candles, but yeah, there were some, some chances to capitalize. Sometimes we like to look at the basket. Uh, we just fast forward because we have that power in our replay simulator. And you look back at what happened during the day. And free coach's tip, this is the best way to build the rules for your trading system. Is it, it, It's an exercise in looking back and deducing what made these big trends happen and how can you trade them moving forward. You figure it out in the replay simulator and you just say, hey, yeah, that the, the rules were met at that point, I would have gotten in there and out there, and that's all you have to do. Compile enough of those, and you've got a system that works on your hands, and all you have to do is get the mindset to complement it and take it to the live market. Before you leave this screen, I, if you've been watching us for any length of time, you know we talk about when to get out and greed and fear and that sort of stuff. And, and, I, and as I'm looking at this, you know, it's really obvious it goes down and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and to be able to pick where it actually starts going down and where it actually starts going back up is really difficult. So and it's like what Warren Buffett said, right? You, you want to get in too late and get out too early. In other words, when you look at some of these red paints in the background and you look at the trades, particularly like I was looking at the one at 12, it's around 1225 or 1230. You know, there's no way you could predict that candle, right? I mean, it's going green, 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 and all of a sudden, down it goes. And, you know, would that have been a good trade to get into? I, you know, I don't know. We'd have to look at it in a little more de detail. But when you look at it, it's just like that's getting in. There's no way you could pick that, right? So, and then if you look at the next time when we have the red paint, there's a longer, quite a bit longer uh, stretch down. And if you, the yellow is what we call the K-band. Right. And if you look at the last red candle in the K band, all of a sudden it's followed by a green one. And sorry, actually the next. Yeah, right there. So you could if you got out there or you got out just before then, because there's a green little green candle, you could have said, oh, man, you know, I should have stayed in because it went up a little bit and then it went back down. But this is high stress. Right. You've got a fairly nice drop. And I'm not saying this is where we're going to go and, and put money in. I'm just saying as an example, there's a really nice drop and then it has what we call flutter and then it drops a little bit more. Well, that flutter and the drop a little bit more, you're only in it if you're greedy and it's a terribly stressful time because you really don't know because eventually it does go up, as you can see at the end of the day. Uh, you don't know when that going up is going to occur. So when it's fluttering, that's like 50 50 chance it's going to go up or go down right you know it's going to do one or the other and you don't necessarily know what your opponents people that are trading with you know computer trading or mass trading or all well, the other types of trading that go on are thinking either so i just wanted to point out there's two really good examples there of when you would want to get in a little bit late and get out a little bit early because that's the cream as opposed to, I'm not saying you should, either of these are ideal trades at all, but they're just kind of good illustrations of that idea that we just want to emphasize. Get in when you know there's a trend and get out before you know the trend is over. Yeah, and just, just linking what you said, and this is, this is the basket, this is our collection of the best option codes out there. But whether you're trading stocks or options, trade it with this, here's what to engineer into your system. Are you ready? Here's another coach's tip. Get a system where you don't have to predict what's coming next. Get a system where once you witness the first candle and you're, you get confirmation that that trend has started, then you're not worried about anticipating or guessing. It's just another word for it, right, Scott? Just, there should be no guesswork. It's like, okay, there's a trend starting. I'm going to get in a little bit late. So after that first candle is complete, I'll get out before it's done and just be decisive about it. But 
like you said, you don't, it doesn't have to be an emotional experience. You can be detached about it and really live a little bit carefree after you're out of your trade. That's right. Um, in this case, I wanted to look at uh, ABGO specifically. This is a, a ticker that shows up as Broadcom Limited, and you could tell it was it was moving quite a bit. It didn't have a ton of volume throughout the day, but it had a nice red move late and a green move even later. But this is what I'm going to hone in on right here. It's the, from the opening bell, it just sprinted right up. So in the perspective of the day, it's helpful to see exactly what range it set in those first 10, 15 minutes and then what it did the rest of the day. So let's go all the way back using our replay simulator. And this is a capability you get by doing your free trial. If you want to sign up for, hit our, hit our website and a 10 day trial gets you into the replay simulator like this, where you can see ABGO here at 936. This first five minutes, the first minute was eventful and then it just kind of went sideways from there around this resistance line. But now it's starting to break above the risk zone which is this orange area or tan or whatever you call it, peach. And now we got, like you said before, the K band on the way up is a blue tint. So now we have a big fat candle. That means it's powerful. We're busting through a resistance line and a major price, you know, a, a price point, 297. So as it breaks out here, I'm just going to call this a good opportunity to buy a call. And at this point, if, if I'm trading this, Scott, I'm thinking, okay, we're at 297.60. So we've beaten that 297.50. I've got a buck 72 to the next resistance line. If it makes it to that next resistance line without any signs of showing, this is profit planning. I'm thinking it might even touch 300, right? So that's what you, you want to have an exit strategy at your entry point. You don't want to have predetermined outcomes in your mind that's gonna set you up for failure. But here, let's just see what happens as ABGO, ABGO Broadcom Limited progresses. So right there, nice first step, higher highs in the first minute, we're getting some volume. And again, higher highs here, it, it's gonna uh, Y point and get a little bit red. So at this point, I'm, I'm thinking it's not even worth hanging around any longer, but it might make it up to that resistance line is what we tell ourselves, that RC. That's okay. If it does, cool. We'll just be conservative. And the chart told us something. So in our system, when the chart tells you something, it gives you an indicator, it's pretty clear confirmation that it's not worth being in anymore. So we'll exit right there with ABGO with a small gain of 8%. And okay, it would have had a nice big fat candle coming green, but to, to echo what we were saying before, Scott, you can't predict that coming. You have no idea that that's going to come, but you're happy with 8%. That's right. Three minutes. Brother, yeah, that's a good, good move. And, you know, I guess it probably would have gone up to 15 or even high teens in percentage, but you can just find the next, next good trend because there have been a million trades before. There'll be a million trades after. There's no reason to agonize over it. And on that basket, if you remember, uh, start of the day, we had some big red moves. I want to fast forward to a nice move that happened in the afternoon. Shout out to our afternoon traders out there. There's not too, not too much different as far as day trading in the afternoon, but the time scales are something you need to compensate for. So I'm going to go right here to the two o'clock hour and you can see ABGO was following the market and having a really bad afternoon. This would be 2 p.m. Eastern time, market time. So I want to look at a different ticker, actually, ABGO. Uh, we've had our run of ABGO for the day. So I want to look at Goog. And you can see right here, we're setting up. It had been fighting all morning, mostly red, but still had some buyers out there. And at this point, once it breaks that four day break below, oh, that's a pretty big, pretty big deal for stock traders out there. And if you are a stock trader, you can also capitalize on our 10 day trial because we have Stock Trader Genius and lists that have all the information that you need. And that's something that you get. You get free access to that with your 10 day free trial. And you can practice day trading options like this, or you can practice multi-day stock trends. In this case, people were selling Google. That's what's driving this. I'm gonna go for just a couple of minutes because we're at this support line, something to be cognizant of. 
And once you break that support line convincingly, I'm very interested in this Google trade. And right there, I'd say we beat 180, 1184.56, 1183.59 is the or 99 is the current price. So we beat it by almost 60 cents. That's pretty good confirmation for me. I'm going to buy a put on Google. And we'll just go forward one minute at a time and see where Goog takes us. We'll watch for, just watch the chart patterns. This is all trading is. It's really, you don't want your emotions popping up. You just want to watch the chart for obvious indicators that it's time to get out of this trade. And right here, we're already at 211. And things are looking pretty good. But remember, we talked about time windows last time. And big price points. So we're approaching 215, not the biggest time window, but it's one to, to think about. We've got four candles on the trend. It's a pretty old trend. And we're near a big price point, 1180. As we said, what happens here? Stock traders have buy orders set there. Somebody out there values Google at more than 1180, and they want to buy that stock at that price. They're like, bargain, baby. So what does that mean? On the chart, that's going to manifest as a big green candle probably bouncing. And if you're in a red trade, you don't want to see a big green candle. You know what you can do to control that situation? Exit Get your out. trade. <laughs> Exit your red trade. So you are not exposed. All the risk, If this is one of the main reasons I day trade, Scott, personally, because I don't have to hold anything. I'm not subject to the whims of some other trader out there during my, my off hours. I don't have to think about this. I don't hold any positions. There we go. That's, that could be you too, that peace of mind. <laughs> but we got, we pull up our, uh, kill the timer and I'll pull up our review log. A couple pretty good trades. Yeah, pretty good. Three minutes, almost 8%. 11 minutes, 14.2%. So yeah, I did it day. Day. Yeah, and when there's no when there's no volume, sometimes it's there there aren't a lot of movers. But if you're consistent and patient about it, and you have a system, you just wait for your rules to be met, and you don't have to fret about it. Awesome. Thank you, Coach Rob. Appreciate you sharing your knowledge and experience and wisdom with everybody. And this has been the Trader Genius Stock Option Review for March 26, 2019. We have a free trial for you. If you want to get in, take a look, see how this thing works. We'll give you a chance to talk to one of our coaches. They'll walk you through and give you a little bit of an idea of strategy. And then after that, we have a membership with a lot of training and, of course, the use of the software. So you've got the training for the how it works. You've got the training for the mindset so that you can be you know, not self-sabotaging yourself. And, uh, and you've got a tool that is uh, the best tool in the world for what it does. So look forward to having you join us. Everything's in the description. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.